Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shazib, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Alliance Block Nexera, the tokenization infrastructure. It is going to be an interesting video, so do watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, do hit, do hit the subscribe button and the notification icon. And guys, you also can support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So you guys can check that out as well. Anyways, let us begin with the price of Alliance Block Nexera at the time of the recording, guys. Uh, so uh, Nexera is up 9.37% for the day, guys. Check this out. Even when I'm recording this, it is having this pump at the moment, guys. Check this out. 8.93% now. Uh, the price is 0 0.448. Uh, it is increasing as we are making the video. 9.37% now. 0 0.14554. So, yeah. Uh, let's see where this head, heads at the end of the video where this would be anyways. So, the market cap is $111 million, guys. Uh, the fully diluted market cap is $123 million, $850 million Nexera tokens in uh, total. Check this out, 90.40% in circulation. So there is no not much room for inflation, obviously. Great, guys. That is great. Uh, the volume is 972000 Guys, Alliance Block Nexera has rebounded so well after the hack that happened when this it was called ALBT. If you remember the bonk hack, even though Nexera protocol wasn't uh, blamed for the hack, bonk was uh, blamed for it. But regardless of that, how the Alliance Block Nexera D T team dealt with it, how Rashid dealt with it, it was uh, uh, marvelous. I had tokens, my personal tokens in Nexera at that time, in uh, ALBT at the time, guys. The way they handed back the tokens, that was the moment I knew that this project uh, is legit and it is here to stay, guys. But obviously not financial advice. You guys have to do your own due diligence, your own research, and only invest what you can afford to lose, guys. But in my opinion, this is one of those generational projects. Let's see where this goes, obviously. But yeah, let if you look at the all-time chart, guys, yeah, it went down to 32 million. We've been talking about it since a very long time, guys. So if you've got, made some gains over here, although it it has it uh, it it will go on to billions in my opinion in the future. Obviously, not financial advice like you told like I told you guys. But if you've made gains in this recent rally as well, so kudos to you guys uh, for that. So. Uh, basically, guys, Nexera is a tokenization in infrastructure in and of itself, guys. Check this out. Alliance blog. This is January 10th, so recent post. Cointelegraph labels 2024 as the year of institutional investment in real-world assets, guys. The maturation, of, the maturation of digital assets has made the business case for tokenization compelling for trade five firms. If you do not know, Alliance Block is basically this uh, hub for uh, tokenization, uh, connecting DeFi and uh, trade five traditional finance with, with DeFi with regulatory framework. It is compliant, uh, so it is bridging the gap between both the, both the worlds, guys. So Alliance Blocks tokenization infrastructure is ready. Let me show you guys. Uh, let me skim through this. You guys can read this article yourself as well. This is from Sanchit Pandey, December 18th, 2023, guys. The year of institutional investment in real-world assets, the rise of secure regulated tech will bring a wealth of financial institutions into blockchain in the coming years. So, guys... Uh, different digital, uh, different assets are going to be now transforming and making their way into the blockchain, into digital, uh, digital uh, landscape. So that is awesome. And uh, Alliance Block Nexera is leading the way, guys. They're talking up. They have been talking about uh, tokenization since a very long time. Let me show you this post. Uh, I think which was it? Let me show you guys. Yeah, I think here is it. Yeah. So this is. 
uh, Rashid, he says since 2019, we have been speaking about tokenization. It is not, a, they have been talking about tokenization way before talking about tokenization was cool. So yeah, now validation is big in the market and we are ready to tackle it and start the adoption of our technology. So basically they've been working on it when uh, in silence, basically. Now that the hype is here and uh, although the hype hasn't reached to, uh, isn't full throttle yet. So uh, Alliance Block and Xera is leading the way in this infrastructure, guys, the tokenization infrastructure. So this is the infrastructure for compliant tokenized finance. Uh, Nexera Finance empowers institutions and businesses to compliantly issue, keyword issue, manage and trade digital and tokenized real world assets. They've got protocols, sorry, the products and protocols, yeah, to for this end, like the Nexera ID, like Nexera Exchange and all of that stuff, they're compliant. Nexera ID is basically bridging that gap and making KYC, on-chain KYC and all of that stuff possible to keep the peop uh, people, the investors anonymous, uh, which is this ethos of uh, DeFi, as well as they're basically uh, uh, making facilitating uh, the TradeFi uh, enthusiasts as well, guys. So yeah, the tokenization of real world assets has been a use case for blockchain technology for years. And yet we haven't seen substantial institutional interest in RWAs until now. The key part is that now the institutions are involved and the institutional interest is growing in real world assets, guys. The value of tokenized assets across all public blockchains has already reached 118.57 billion and could reach dollar 10 trillion by 2030. Uh, I've read somewhere that uh, the, the values vary from one article to another. I've read dollar 16 trillion somewhere, even as much as dollar 20 trillion or more at the, in the other places. So, anyways, any anywhere from dollar 10 to dollar 20 by 2030. So. We're talking about trillions, guys, and uh, look at the market cap of uh, Nexera at, at this time. And since we've been talking about it, what was its market cap? Like 36.58 or uh, $45 million. I do not remember it vividly, but we've been talking about it since they were peanuts. But still, guys, trillions and uh, 111 million. So a huge gap in, worth in terms of the uh, upward potential it has. Recent macroeconomic shifts and, been, and improvements in technology for secure custody, trading and settlement have made investment in tokenized treasuries, private equity and debt that much more attractive. So, guys, uh, have you, has, as you have seen the macroeconomic conditions, guys, uh, there is a need for new asset classes to emerge to help the economy. You guys know that uh, I'll be a bit... Uh, uh, honest with you guys, capitalism in uh, the, the the true potential of capitalism is that uh, it innovates itself. Now, this is one of those that uh, metamorphosis that is taking place, the transformation that has that is taking place yet again. Yet again, it is transforming. Yet again, it is trying to expand. It is trying to be creative. So this is one of those phases, guys. If, if you look at the broader macroeconomics and broader economic conditions. Stable coins are currently the most familiar tokenization projects. The most common form is a direct claim on fiat currency held by a custodian. Even uh, the stable coins, guys, they are basically a representation of fiat in digital currencies and virtual currencies. So that is also a part of this broader tokenization realm and arena. Today, the global market cap for stable coins stands at around $124 billion, according to a report by brokerage from Alliance Bernstein. It is expected to grow to almost $3 trillion in the next five years. So when PayPal is going to be issuing them and all of that stuff is going to be happening, CBDCs are getting in involved, tokenization of stocks, bonds, and other traditional uh, investment products have been gaining traction, guys. So that is awesome. And you guys know that uh, Alliance Block Nexera is associated with London Stock Exchange as well. So check this out. The London Stock Exchange Group, UBS Asset Management, ABN AMRO and Citigroup have all launched tokenization initiatives in 2023. Big players are getting involved with tokenization, guys, real world assets. The governments are being involved. States are being involved, such as Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, Thailand, all have been working out regulatory regimes, guys, to support this tokenization initiative. So, uh, so yeah, 
5 trillion worth of financial assets could be tokenized by 2030. Analysts of Bank of America predict that tokenized assets will become so ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means universal over the next 5 to 15 years that tokenized asset portfolios will simply become portfolios, guys. So yeah, that is awesome, guys. Ultimately, the biggest winners will be investors as transactions become more efficient and costs decrease across the asset lifecycle. So we're really early, in my opinion, guys, in projects such as Alliance Block, Nexera, and uh, the others. I think we are one of the luckier ones that we've we've got we we, we knew about this project since I think uh, peanuts of market caps, guys. So that is awesome. It is constantly growing, guys. This is Rashid, the latest post. Something is brewing. So something is always brewing with Alliance Block Nexera. So check this out. Tokenization, compliance, identity, exchange. They've got this exchange as well. And they're constantly evolving on-chain, order book, and all of that stuff. Liquidity, issue, trade, and manage tokenized real-world assets. So this is awesome, guys, in my opinion. Uh, so what do you guys think about uh, Alliance Blocks, Block Nexera, guys? Where would we, would it be by the end of 2024 and 2025, guys? Hit the comment box below and let the community know. And where do you believe Nexera will be in the uh, box of tokenized cryptos, tokenization cryptos, RWA cryptos? There are others we uh, talk about as well. So rank your top three or top five tokenization projects uh, in the comment box below. So, uh, yeah, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of these other coins, guys, do hit the notification bell and subscribe the channel. And you guys can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon if you want to see the, roll the channel rolling out for years. And like I always say at the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.